Oh, Lewis, well done. Really good performance. How did you find it? Yeah, obviously, disappointing result, obviously losing the game, being knocked out of the competition so early. But I think personally, it's it's what you dream of as a kid playing in, in the biggest games. And I think playing against a top, ti top team like City and at the Etihad is something that you dream of. So really happy. Yeah. It's obviously the FA Cup was brilliant last season, but that was Chesterfield. This is the champions of England. The step up is is marked, isn't it? Did you feel that kind of intensity to the game? Yeah, definitely. The, the way they moved the ball around is one of the best the best teams in the world to do it. So it's very tough, um, physically demanding against a team like City. But I think we we still had chances where we could have potentially got ourselves in back into the game or put ourselves ahead. Um, so yeah, I think we can take positives from the game. The boss has uh, just been in here lauding your performance. What did he say to you before the match and then again when you came off because we saw everybody giving you um, high fives and handshakes? Yeah, no, before the game he was just like, you've deserved this and he obviously said that um, what I've done in training, just keep doing it and play the way I play, don't play any differently and just be myself and try to express myself as best as possible. Those of us who've, who've watched you in the youth team over the last couple of years have seen you play. I think I've seen you play pretty much everywhere except in goal. Is that is that left wide left role the one that you favour yourself? Is that where you see yourself eventually ending up? I think, if I'm honest, I, I, I prefer playing in the middle of the pitch. I feel like that's where I can be most effective, whether that's a, as a pivot or as an eight. I feel like that's where I can be most effective. But I have played left side quite a lot, whether it's wing back or centre half. I think it's something that... Um, that I, I like to have that versatility. So, when when um, when the manager can can uh, pick a team with different positions that he can be selected for. Have you set yourself a goal now for the rest of the season? Are you thinking you you want to get more first team minutes? Is is it about carrying on the good form that we've seen in PL two this year, or are you just kind of taking it one step at a time? I think taking it one step at a time because obviously at the start of the season I was in um, playing regularly in the PL two and. I was really happy with how I was doing and as a team I feel like we're really building and we, we're getting somewhere with it And but with opportunities like this where um, it's something that you're not quite expected but it's happened also quickly I think you've just got to take it one, one week at a time and from one game to the next. Finally, John Terry was um, saying how impressed he was with your performance tonight on Twitter. He's obviously the benchmark for the Chelsea Academy. But when you look at the team now, you, can you see that pathway because of the likes of, of Reese and Mason and Trev and everybody else who's playing? You, you feel there's a route through for, from the academy to the first team? Yeah, definitely. Especially when you look at those players like you mentioned, Reese, Mason, Trev, everyone. I think it's a big inspiration to all young players like who are like potentially... Um, training with the first team and getting experiences like I did tonight I think everyone realises that it's, that it's possible and I think with, with John Terry he's, he's in and around the academy coaching and he's really good with all the younger players like and he's just a, a top like inspirational inspirational guy we'll be inspiring uh, kids in the academy now well done tonight we'll thank speak you. to you again soon cheers thank you